so we have seen already you know how to use preceding and following so now in this example we'll see how to identify you know dynamically something how to you know pass something dynamically so now i want to you know identify this female radio button or male radio button or custom radio button dynamically okay i don't want to hard code anything okay if i want male i should be able to select male if i want uh, custom i should be able to select custom if i want female i should be able to select female so this this x path will really help you you know in real time uh, to work with real time example okay in real time if you have something dynamic web element so that time you can easily able to handle this so just observe carefully so suppose here i'll just explain you what i wanted to do it so i want to do i want to make our export in generic way so that i should be able to select any of the radio button and only one x path i'll write and i'll be able to you know by passing mail i should be able to select mail by passing custom i should be able to select custom by passing you know female i should be able to select female okay so let's go and try to do this okay so as of now see this is what we have so i am able to identify what female okay so i'll just copy this x path okay i'll just copy this x path i'll go to a script okay what i will do i'll just pass this script okay so now this is a main method only i'm calling okay so now let me you know quickly create one method so that i can show you okay let me maximize this minimize this okay so now let me quickly create one method okay so it's very simple java okay so public public okay public uh, void okay i'll take something called you know select uh, select gender select gender okay i'm just creating one method select gender here i'll pass a string gender as a string parameter okay so gender just one i'm creating one method which will take one string gender as a parameter okay perfect so now this entire code i'll just you know pass in this just cut it just pass here okay perfect so this I'll, this method i need to call from here right so this method the select gender method i will call from here okay select gender whenever i'll call this method what i need what this method is needed uh, ask is to pass one parameter called gender okay so i'll pass you know female okay female so now this error will go so this is error okay because uh, this is a static method i'm trying to call so here i need to make it static okay because non-static method we cannot access directly from the static okay so either make it a static or either create object then call right so just i made a static okay perfect so what we are going to do is so gender okay so now this female i'm passing from here okay i can pass male also okay so let's make this x path as generic so what i'll do i'll just delete it sorry i'll just delete it double quote okay then double plus i'll pass here gender gender perfect now this error gone okay so now whatever whatever i'll I mean, whenever i'll call this method whatever gender i'll pass this x path dynamically it will take that particular gender and immediate you know radio button it will select okay perfect so now i have did for what so i have did for female so just let me save this and let me run whether this is able to select my female radio button or not so see i'm just running this okay so this is how it's run perfect so see i'm able to select the female radio button okay now this and all things will come from either excel or some properties file okay it is not again hard code it is again hard coded right it should not be hard coded so from we'll pass from some excel or something okay whenever we'll do sign up so leave that part now i want to select mail okay i want to select mail so i don't need to change x path i need to just pass this you know text mail okay so i just pass here mail perfect i'll run this so now it will select you know mail radio button this run running once again so this time it select mail so perfect see this is this is selected you know mail okay so similarly if you want to select custom you have to you know pass the parameter from this uh, this method as a you know custom then it will select the custom 
so this is how you can you know create you know a generic x path and you can use it however you want so sometimes you should know how to create this and identify that scope of that you know x path that okay i have to pass something dynamically in x path so how to achieve that okay so that time you should go for like this and you can select at runtime either male or female and you can fill the excel sheet male or female and you can register however you want this is cool right so this is how xpath work okay so we have seen then we'll see xpath by group index okay so as of now we have seen index okay so oh, one more thing we'll see the index so we just explain you this is nothing already we have seen so this is one index okay so if you let me go to the document <clears throat> so if i'll select like this so a b c something i have given okay i think e, there's no example here okay like that so i just explain you here only so here i am giving one okay here i am giving one so if i will not give one see so how many web element total 727 you know matching okay i want from all i want first okay so i'll just give sing a uh, close here and i'll close here okay so all 27 now out of 127 i want first one so like that this will give you always first this will give you always what first matching node this is how it work in real time okay so complete index i'm giving i'm quoting from here and here then i'm passing the index this is one of the way to identify this is group index so entire group so how many elements there for entire group 27 so out of 27 i want first one so it will give always first one so sometime if it use like this sometime if it use like this it will also give you first element only but if multiple element will be having okay so it will give you know if i'll pass here two it will give two right so this is how okay let me do here following following okay input two okay so it will give select two okay so let me give you some quickly some scenario where i'll just show you double slash slash okay so i'll just here so if i'll see so i'm able to identify what something entire thing right so i'm not able to just i'm selecting this this section i'm able to select i'm not able to select this radio button still if you'll see if i'll give input if i'll give input so immediate i'm able to select right but in a few cases we will be having multiple matching node and we can't able to select okay like okay let me show you some example so a spam a spam okay so three spam for one this class okay i'll just identify this class so spam spam so just one example i'm just trying to tell you this will give you so that you will not get you know confused you should be having very good confidence on xpath class is equal to double colon fine so this spam i have identified again is this spam is having what three child three child it is having right so now if i'll give index if i'll give index one so see okay so immediate i have to first try right you know immediate so only one as of now so okay so see all are having what same all are having same class here spam so this this will be the best example to explain this uh, scenario so see three one by one it is traversing okay if i'll give first index if i'll give first index so i'm able to identify first one okay clear so here uh, but sometime what will happen sometime if you pass one also it will not be able to identify okay so that case i'm not able to reproduce as of now but suppose if it is the case so you will not be able to you know get all those all those things so that time you should go for group index so group index how it will work so here close bracket close bracket so now i'll be having all those three now out of the three now i want first one so now this will give you exact output okay so always whenever you have index okay multiple index okay multiple matching node so you can give group of index okay not individual index so individual index also of course you can give so if it is you know working if it is not multiple matching okay so you can go for as per you know your requirement and as per you know html 
so as of now one is working for me no problem i can use it okay but if some scenario will be there so there you will you are not able to you know if you are passing one also it is giving multiple matching node only then go for group index okay this is what the things is okay group index okay so you can use group index like this okay single slash two if you will pass two also see three also to have group this okay only one group is there okay so i always pass one it will be able to identify the first element only so if you want to immediate so just pass the group index and you will be able to identify this so this is how xpath works so we have seen till now so group index also we have seen so just we will summarize so we have seen all the eight locators out of it you know four locators are more important okay id name link text xpath okay id name link text xpath but css is also there right so if you'll go here so which is the fastest okay so first id so if you have id use id because id is the fastest after that id we have name so if you have name and uniquely you are able to identify that particular web element by using name use name okay so name will be faster after that we have you know css by using css selector also we are able to identify so as of now we have already gone through css and all right so you know how to write css and we have do did lots of stuff using css okay then at last we have xpath locator so which is slow just comparatively this one okay it's not much slow in real time you'll use you know xpath and css and id only so it means if you have id best go for id it will be faster then go for you know css then go for xpath okay so all are having some advantage and some disadvantage which we have already seen okay then uh, this is all about you know xpath so these are the things so if in real time only will use you know id name css and xpath and link text and uh, you know partial link text so as per requirement now you gone through entire xpath now as per requirement whichever you will feel okay this is good suited for my web element go for that okay and you should always analyze okay this whatever locator you are identifying or you are uh, taking so you have to analyze in such a way that if something in future you have to think like a tester if something will be changed in future so what and all might be changes so which locator which locator i should use and if i'm taking out of four attribute i'm identifying one attribute i'm taking why i should take that attribute only so you have to identify in such a way so that in future if something is getting changed so your script should not fail because of small change in xpath perfect so that's all about xpath hope you understood everything okay so see you in the next so just interview stuff so you just go and go through about uh, of interview questions so now we'll see next topic so see you in the next